We all know that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, but what I don't know is what's powering me right now as we continue with Parasite Eve in the Museum of Natural History. Uh, there are dinosaurs in here and a scientist who is evil doing evil science. But before we do that, I'm going to leave for a bit. So... Uh, I did a little, uh, reconnaissance, you might, you might call, call it, uh, of what we have to do next, uh, gra ga intelligence gathering, because, let's just get this game over with, uh, I checked out the warehouse, and that seems, we should probably do the warehouse, there's some stuff in there, you don't have to do this, but, I mean, we should. It's, sh it's short. There's things in here. Here we go. I got a PPK. It's James Bond's gun. I mean, they don't say Walther PPK, but that's what we're talking about. So this one... This one has an interesting stat on it. Quick draw, first attack. What that means is that sometimes when the fight begins... Uh, I will be able to attack immediately. That sounds very good, except it doesn't work all the time. Like, frequently a fight will start, and then I just, uh, it, it didn't work. So, you know, that can, that's potentially very good if it worked all the time. It does not. So do I want to rip the stat off of that and put it on my gun? I don't know. Maybe, I, maybe we can do something better. Then again, it's also the case that my base stats of this M16 are low. So, instead of putting stuff on the M16, I could take the bonus points off of it and put it on something else. Not the cum protector. That's armor. Let's take a, let's take a look at it. Do I want to do any... I am wearing the cum vest. Let's see. So, the B protector uh, is worse... But it does have this, resist stiffness. You don't get stiff when you're wearing the B protector. But now the cum protector... Oh, hold on. Um, let's see. So the base stats on this are good. They're better. It also has auto. Auto medicine, which is what this has. So I probably should... I probably should put on the protector, right? And then I probably should use the tool to move, uh, no, that's wrong order, wrong order. There we go. Take the bonus points, put them on my new one. There we go. Gotta, gotta make sure we do this in the right order. Okay, better armor, still have my auto medicine. Still got it. Oh no, look at that mouse. It's getting chased by that monster. Oh no, no, look at that! It got big. The mouse got big. So, this is a new, a new enemy. This gray, feral rat. I mean, we fought rats before, but this seems like a tougher rat. I got that key. The warehouse key. It's down here. We can use it in the warehouse, which is where we are right now. I got a grenade launcher. We should probably take a look at our weapons. So, for most of this game, I've been using this M16. This one. Main reason I've been using it... Oh, hold on. Let's uh, compare it to something. So, this M16, the range is real high. So, if I'm looking at the M79, the attack is considerably higher. That would be very good. So, a thing that I'm puzzled about here... 
the guns in this game are terrible at a distance. And I keep feeling like that even though I'm using the M16, which has currently a range of 126. Like, frequently the damage will drop off considerably when I, when I shoot it at range, despite the range being so high. Everything else has much lower range. So I guess if I changed weapons, I would have to get closer to the enemy. I guess I'm doing that anyway, though. So maybe having huge range is not helping me as much as I was thinking it might. So maybe I should just go with more attack power instead of range. An important thing about the M79, look at that, frost effects. Hey, hey, hey you, hey. Do you remember earlier in the game, I was using scan on some enemies and it said some enemies had elemental weaknesses, like weak to frost or weak to heat. And like, I was wondering, what, is, what are you talking about? I don't have elemental attacks. Turns out, hey, we got a gun that has elemental bullets. This has an ice bullet. I could rip out the, the ice bullet and put it on the M16, but I probably should go with the M79. However, if we're taking a look at these other guns, Okay, this one, heat bullets. I have fr ice bullet gun and heat bullet gun. Uh, the attack on this one is weaker, though. And if I'm looking at the stats on the PPK, yeah, that's, that's not as good. Also, it has times five. So as we established, if... As we established, the higher the multiplier on your bullets, the weaker your bullets are. Which is dumb. But that's, I guess that's their way of making sure that the guns don't become overpowered. By making the bullets weaker if you can shoot more. Uh, so we don't want, I don't think we want times five. I have times three, that's probably enough as it is. What I think we're gonna do. I think we're finally gonna say goodbye to the M16. I'm going to take the M79 with its ice bullets. And I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to the M16. I'm going to transfer these huge bonus points that I've been stacking on this gun the whole game onto the M79. Now, by doing this, I am losing the tranquilizer effect. But this effect only seems to work on weaker enemies. Like, it hasn't been doing anything to the stronger enemies we've been fighting, so... I'm probably good with losing the tranquilizer effect. So let's take these stats. Put them on. Okay, the M79 now has the big bonuses. And now it can get even more big bonuses. I have uh, some bonus points to spend. Let me put two more... Two more attack points on that. There we go. All right. Now we're in. We're in with this gun. And it's ice bullets. So the reason I'm going with ice bullets is because in the museum, the raptors are weak to ice. For, so for the time being, I'm probably better with ice. I don't think I mentioned that part yet. Rat and spider teaming up. Has there ever been such a team as this? See, it's got low range, so if I'm far away, it's just going to miss entirely. I died. Game over. I need to pay, point, pay more attention to my health. That's fine. We were, we were right at the start of the warehouse anyway. We barely did anything. Whoop, no, not, nope, nope, that's, nope. I hate that this game uses the analog stick for menuing. I know you can go back to digital by turning off the analog, but it should just let you use the D-pad for menuing. I find that I hate most aspects of this game. I don't know why it's remembered so positively.
All right, back in the warehouse we go. I don't know if I'll actually use the PPK for anything, but I mean, we might as well pick it up if we're going in. Ahem. Also, might as I should I should heal since I am low on medicines. I have been relying on my auto, um, my armor automatically using medicines, but I really shouldn't. when I don't have medicines. All right, yeah, this, this is the right one. 36 to 30, 40, to, yeah, okay, 39, okay, yeah. Just gotta make sure I'm transferring onto the right one. Down here's the key. All right, so now let's, yeah, frost bullets. Let's do that. Use tool. Take my big bonuses. Just make sure. Frost bullets, 52 attack. This is the right gun on that. Then bonus points on to attack here. So this has two X2 attack, which of course is less than the other one, but then that means each individual bullet is stronger. <laughs> this stupid system. I think the frost is just an element, an elemental damage thing. I don't think it has any sort of effect aside elemental damage. Like, it's not like the tranquilizer, which just, like, stops an enemy if it works. All right, we're done with combat, so use heal. There we go. And then our PE will regenerate in the next fight. We don't need medicines. You just have this cycle of healing after a fight, and then the PE we use to heal are going to regenerate in the next fight. And then after that fight, we heal again. We got Rocket. Oh, it went in my Rocket Crate. That's true, I do have the Rocket Crate. I have nine Rocket. And let's see, I also I picked up an armor, which was the Sp Protector. Let's compare the stats. So let's see, we have 36 to 38, 48 to 23, 20, okay. So the Penergy on the Cum Protector is much higher. Like, I think I have to stick with that, right? Yeah, I, th I, I would think so. We 
got offense plus two. Make my gun more offensive. It was the style at the time. Let's save the game. Ahem. <clears throat> I wish she I wish there was a run button or like something you could put on her to make her move at double speed or something. I feel like everything in this game doesn't work quite as well as it needs to. Just like every element of it. We got two spiders. Unfortunately, the spider's just content, oh, content to, uh, you know, I should, I should heal just in case. The spiders are kind of content to just sort of hang around most of the time. They move a little bit, then they spit web. They're not very accurate at spitting web. And they were carrying 60 bullets. So that one cop said that Eve was in this warehouse, which is why we're in here. And more offense. defense so like we're getting little things like this we got some new armor we got a gun with heat bullets we're getting plus offenses plus defense there's little power ups here and there we got tool who doesn't love tool I bet I bet I is a big tool fan she doesn't wear her her tool shirt on the job She'd consider it unprofessional. But then, goodness, we have a giant enemy crab. Eye beams! The crab has eye beams. And I'm going to put, put a barrier on me. The barrier only seems to work for one hit, but, you know, just having that in... Well, let me just wait for it to stop moving again. Having that in reserve just in case if I, if I get hit with a big hit is probably pretty good. Making his, his claw cold. Okay, yeah. It hit me with that, but it, the, it got barriered. Okay, I don't have enough for barrier again. That's fine. Killed his claw. I made his claw so cold. The mitochondria in this crab are putting out so much energy.
All right, other claws down. He was, he was without claw, but he does have eyes. Crab down, crab down. We leveled up. I got AT4. Alright, let's take a look at that. AT4 is a rocket launcher. So, I have rockets. Um, this has no bonus stats. It has huge attack and range. And has one bullet at a time. So, I guess this is like a boss weapon. Because we don't get much ammo for it. So, I guess that's our big prize for doing the warehouse. Is that we get this uh, rocket launcher. What will we use it for? I don't know. I don't know. Should, is, I don't know if this is something that we're supposed to save for the last boss or what. Watch out for the steam. I saw that steam. There it is. Cool. And I believe that's, uh, I believe that's everything we're gonna get from here. So now we're gonna head back to the museum. Better equipped to fight dinosaurs with our frost gun. And, uh, I do have the rocket launcher. Again, not sure what I should use that for. Should I just use it on uh, the next boss I come across, or is this like a thing I should save all of my rockets for the last boss or something? Not sure about that. Use our heal. Let's save a game.
All right. Warehouse has been investigated. Eve was not here. Giant crab was, though. I'm not sure if they intend for you to do this one before or after Chinatown. They let you, they let, they let you do it in either order. You just make your own decision on that one. Let's go back to the precinct and dump off some of these excess items. Talk to our buddy Wayne, who loves guns. I got no, I got no junk with me. No junk for him. All right. Um, let's uh, give him a cure D. Let's give him a good luck charm. Oh, really? I cannot store the good luck charm. I was able to store the others, wasn't I? Yeah, there's the Mayoke. There's the Hamaya. I cannot store the Narita. I have to keep this one. Let's, uh, okay, warehouse key. I assume I don't need that anymore. <clears throat> Let's store more cure for the D. The gate key, that was for the subway. All right. <clears throat> Store equipment. Let's just put stuff in that we're not... I guess I could use tools on them. To move bonus points. But... I, oh, I can't move club three. I cannot do that. I don't think they had money bonus points. Do I want the f the quick shot on the PPK? I should keep the rocket launcher, probably. <clears throat> um, okay, this. Trading card. Oh, I can select this. What happens if I select the weapon directly? Nothing. What? It just went back to the menu. Trading card. Okay, give him a trading card. He wants to tune up a weapon. So here are my, here's my frost gun. Add slot. Okay, there we go. He added a sl an additional slot to my ice gun. <clears throat> so since he did that, I could... Do I have another trading card? Sorry, babe. You gotta have a permit or a T card if you want to. That's what that's what the cool people call them. We call them T cards. All right. So if I have two empty slots on this, let's see. Could I put like both heat and ice on the same gun? It should work, right? Like I don't think el I don't think elements heal enemies, do they? Cuz sometimes it's a I've not seen anything say that something is strong to an element, only weak. If I put both ice and fire on the gun, I don't I don't think would they ca I mean I don't know if they would cancel each other out or if it would just use both damages and then the enemy would get hurt from whatever it's weak to. Maybe that could happen. I mean, I have to try, right? I have to try it. There we go. Ice and fire on the same gun. This is now the best gun, obviously. Now, I notice that the rocket launcher is not in this list. So I guess I cannot move any stats from the rocket launcher onto a gun. 
rocket launcher, I guess, is, is its own class of weapon. Another question is the PPK. Let's see. Um, N79, PPK. It has some bonus points, but more importantly, it has quick draw. Do I want to put quick draw on this gun? Cause, like I said, sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. I mean, I could do it and save in an alternate slot in case I wanted to go back and say I don't like that for some reason. So let's give that a try. Okay, this now has the quick draw on it. <clears throat> do I have BP? I, I, well, I, have, I have a lot of BP. Okay. Let's rack up the attack. There we go. There's something in this box. Yeah, ammo. Okay. And medicine three. Okay. All right, so now my gun shoots both ice and fire, which is kind of funny. <clears throat> Look, if I'm not ready for the museum now, then I don't know how I'm going to get ready for this museum. <clears throat> All right, set on inside. So last time we went into the museum, we were trying to find Clamp, but then we ran into raptors because dinosaurs are getting resurrected. Apparently. Which, I mean, that is what they should do. If we're going to have a level in the, in the dinosaur museum, there should be dinosaurs that are being resurrected by mitochondria. Because what if if not, then what are we even doing here? All right, so we went in here. Eventually, it leads us to a dead end, and we have to go back. I'm gonna guess that we do have to do this, but I don't know that for sure. It's a hidden box. Just, just, the, the, the old box in the wheelchair hiding just off screen. Okay. Broken display case. Getting some medicines. There he is. Hey! Alright, here we go, raptors. It's raptor time. Alright, let's see how our bullets do. Yeah, it seems to have used both effects, and the frost is hurting more. How the hell did those dino- how the hell did those dinosaurs get here? How did they indeed? Got a, another handgun. 
I mean, the stats are much lower. I'm not sure is I'm not sure if there's a reason to use a handgun over the rifles. It seems like the handgun stats tend to be lower. Maybe there's some element to the handgun that I'm not aware of. It's locked. Dot dot dot. Okay, now we go back. We also get littler dinos as well. They're not taking as much damage as the raptors did. Yeah, this gun does not actually does not seem very effective against these guys in particular. They basically steamrolled the raptors. Heal. All right. Yep. All right, this gun not good for them. I guess let's try the handgun. Yeah, the handgun is much more damaging to them for some reason. I'll keep this at the ready in case it's raptors. And then if it's not, if it's the little guys, we'll change the handgun. Let's use our magic. Sorry, our parasite powers. It's not magic. It's science. All right, we're back here. Let's just save again. Again, not entirely sure if doing that was necessary because we end up in the lobby. Elevator, I believe, does not work. Uh, it'll start up again if I deactivate the alarm. Okay, so the the museum is under uh, red alert status. We have to turn off the alarm. Aminals. Hey, how many animals was that? I guess this is like a little little museum game for the kids. I remember like things like this. 
when I was young, I uh, used to like to go to uh, the Franklin Institute. And they had like little games like this for, uh, for you know, for the kids to, to learn about the science. Like little, uh, you know, pedestals that you might be able to play something on. It's like little, little fun little thing like that. Um, I believe there's nine. I got a tool. Oh, hey, uh, my attack is ready to go right off the bat. That's because of the quick draw, which, again, sometimes doesn't work. But it did this time. I started off with with full AT. Of course, I had to use it to change guns because I need the handgun for this guy. read any of the stuff on here. I feel like if this was a Resident Evil game, there would be like little descriptions of everything here. And there's just not. There isn't. I can't get Aya's opinions on what she thinks about the exhibits. Someone obviously doesn't want me to get through this area. She's quite calm about the giant scorpion. But first, before we fight the scorpion, here's some. how about some trivia? What was the nutritional source of the first organism that lived 3.9 billion years ago? Oxygen from the ocean, nitrogen oxides from volcanoes, self-conducted photosynthesis. All right. Bit, uh... It's a bit tougher than how many animals are on the screen. It's a little... just a little bit. It was not oxygen from the ocean. It was nitrogen. What's this exhibit, by the way? There's like a bunch of rocks in front of like a, a mural of a sunset. I'm not sure what this exhibit is. Anyway, scorpion. Got poisoned. Let's see how our elemental gun works. Poison again. There we go. I learned medic. Medic removes all negative status effects. And I have some BP. No, not that. Once again, let's put it on this. Not enough for haste. Let's start off with an attack.
heal and put on my element gun. All right, let's see. We can go down there. Doesn't look like we can go there. We can go up there. All right, so two ways to go. Um, let's try up. We'll try up first. So there's stairs we can go up. Or a hallway over there that we can keep going there. And let's just see if we can look at anything. So far, no, we have not been able to look at anything. We got big old stone heads. There's a door behind this head. It says exit. Seems like a bad place for an, for an exit. I can't reach it. Also, these things don't seem to say anything. There were things that said something in um, Central Park, in the zoo. These things don't seem to say anything. No? Nothing? Oh, okay. I get- Wait! What was that noise? Ah! Alright. What, what, what was that noise? I don't- Okay, but yeah, rocks. Where do these rocks come from? Oh no! Beetleman! Yeah, this does a lot of damage to them. Ran out of slots already? I can't leave these medicine fours behind. Let's have a look at this inventory. I got quite a bit of junk. I mean, I guess I must be doing okay in the combat if I'm not use if my armor is not automatically using these medicines. Um, I guess we'll do away with the junk. I know people said that if you're playing New Game Plus, you want to get junks so Wayne can make you a really good weapon, but that's not what this is right now. Um, did anything happen here? It doesn't seem like I can interact with the stones. It doesn't seem like that cleared a path to the exit back there. Can I get back here? N no, not quite. Turns out, I guess not. 
All right, I guess that was a dead end, and we fought fought a new enemy. We can go upstairs. We haven't tried that yet. Oh, it's a grenade. Another grenade launcher. Is it the same kind I have? Okay, no, it's this. It's like that. Let's uh, look at the tool. Let's see. This also has frost. Uh, only one and one. Not many bonus points on this. Actually, what are the base stats on that? Um, it's like that. Actually, let me look at that tool again. All right, the base on the attack is a little higher. Um, but considering all the stuff I have on this one, eh, probably don't want to replace it at this point. Oh, another quiz. What's the quiz? The mitochondria creates ATP, adenosine triphosphate, within the cell. How much energy is this equivalent to? 3.7 kcal per gram, 200,000 volts per cubic centimeter, one-sixth horsepower per adult male. Um, does, does it, so is the question asking about how much power can one mitochondria make or is it all of the mitochondria in, in your body? I'm not really sure. Um, considering how small mitochondria are, I mean, maybe if you had a cubic centimeter of mitochondria, you would be getting some ridiculous power level. That could possibly be. Hey, that was right. That was correct. Hmm? Oh, I, yeah, that's right. I had to replace something. I replaced junk. I didn't re yeah, it was the junk. I was about to say, did I replace something good with that? No, it was it was junk. Here we have some objects. I cannot look at them. Looks like we can go up, we can go down. Nope. Ah. Well, I can just... I, I didn't mean to use the t put the tool in there, but we can use this. On our, on our protector. And take that tool back. Fence. <clears throat> we got raptors. heal. I do have some unused BP. Let's boost that attack up a little bit. I can't get through here. All right. I mean, she's not going to tell me why. No, she, she can't do it. Just have to take her. I can't see what's down there. I'm going to have to take her word for it that she cannot get through there. Oh, this is above the stone headroom. This is where those, uh, those new enemies... I get, okay, we... Hey, let's have some environmental storytelling here. We can see where they jumped off down to the room below. They were watching me from up here.
if I didn't do if I didn't do that, would those enemies be up here? Since I didn't fight them down there? Could be. I can go up or down. Third floor or first floor? Um Well, we started on the first floor. I would assume this ladder goes down to a room that we haven't been to on the first floor. But we have not been to the third floor at all. Let's go down to the first floor and see where that what room does that come out in? This is where. All right. This is a very bad... I feel like this violates some sort of regulation of putting these this exhibit, blocking the exit with the exhibit. I can't even go in or out because of the stone heads. Third floor. Let's let's see what's up here. Now, okay. Remember, we're looking for Clamp. He's somewhere in the museum, up to mad science. That's our objective here. That quick draw is popping quite a bit, actually. I've been getting it a few times. I like this giant skeleton exhibit. You walk across it, look down, get educated about the skeleton that lives inside you. Oh, uh, trivia. Actually, what's here? Oh, look at the skeleton family. This is the skeleton in its natural habitat. By taking my mitochondria, which uses oxygen as its nutritional source, into the body and living with it symbiotically, the bacteria has acquired a tremendous amount of energy. What was the consequence? Aging? Slow cell reproduction rate? Cell destruction due to overload? I don't know. It was aging. Okay. We grow old because of our mitochondria. Our mitochondria hates us and wants us to die from old age. What's in this capsule? It's like three brains just hanging in a capsule. What ex What is this exhibit? Okay, someone knocked over that exhibit over there. By the way, I is like in terms of the story, is Aya aware of her magic? Like she's never actually mentioned it. She's never brought it up. She's never said to Daniel, uh, Daniel? I don't really know. I'm not sure how to say this. I think I can cast magic spells. Like, I know that sounds weird, but it's been happening tonight. Oh, what are you talking about, Aya? It's ridiculous. You're a cop, Aya. You can't cast no magic. All right. So, like, uh, okay. Evolutionary beginning. Branching paths. This one stops early. And here we get to the animals of today, including man, the most dangerous animal of all. Oh, there's something here. 
1987, Can and Wilson released a theory stating that humans were derived from mitochondrial Eve. What organism is thought to be mitochondria Eve? Chimpanzee in Indonesia, female monkey in Galapagos, an African female. I believe it is an African lady. Got ammo. Like, no, seriously, Daniel, sometimes I just think about it, and then this, like, barrier appears around me, and then, like, it blocks attacks, but only one time usually. It doesn't hurt me at all. I don't know how I'm doing that. Switch guns. I mean, one thing about the handgun, it is very nice that Aya is much faster on the draw with it. It does take her a few seconds to actually shoot the big guns. Even you're just kind of standing there after the attack uh, command has been given. Um, let's take the medicine. Place the junk. Junk out, medicine in. Is this a button? I guess, I guess we can't press it, but it looks like a button. Alright, let's see. Stairs going down to a lower floor. Got a door, I guess. And a door, like few ways to go. Let's try the southern door. Okay, that makes that easy. What about this door? Oh, that's a uh, mitochondria. That's a big mitochondria. Imagine how much power this thing could generate. That's just a pterodactyl. That's what that is. That's just a t that's a pterodactyl that just yeah. There you go. Mental gun did good about uh, against that. Looks like I'm out of junk. I'll replace a medicine two with medicine four. Medicine two, four, medicine four, again. I'm getting into a good uh, cycle, I guess, here. Considering how many medicines I don't have to use. that button too fast.
I got pre-raise. Okay, so it's, it can, it's a spell for reviving if I don't have a revive on me. I'll take ammo and leave these other things. All right, so we got a spell. So if I don't have any revives or no medicines for my armor to automatically use. <clears throat> we can use this. There's a bunch of spells I have not been using. Like, how well does Confuse work? I don't know. I haven't actually tried that. Or, like, Barrier. In many fights, Barrier only blocked one attack, but I noticed during the, the, uh, the Crab fight, I got hit once, but the Barrier icon remained on the screen. So, is there a such- are there enemies that the Barrier can take more than one hit from? I'm not sure. Because the game is certainly not going to say anything about it. I wonder if I should be, like, drawing a map of the museum. Like, it, there's a lot of rooms and a lot of hallways, and, like, there was that, that one staircase that I didn't go down. Am I gonna have to go back there? Like, am I gonna have to remember places that I haven't been yet? Elevator will work, work, will, it will work again. If I turn off the alarm... Okay, stairs going down. Is that a thing up there? No. Door. Doors open. Hey! Did someone just lock the door? He must have locked. Wow, he's stealthy. How did he? How did he get up behind us like that? Oh, oh well. I guess with my grenade launchers and my array of magic spells, there's nothing I can do about this locked door. Nothing I can do about it. SV protector. Let's see. <clears throat> okay, uh, defense base is higher, P energy is lower, critical is like one point higher. It's got an additional pocket. Um, you know, I like that my current protector has more penergy. I like the penergy. Not much in the way of bonus stats. I could rip the pocket off of it. Could do that. Um, how many tools do I have? Like one, there's two up there. Three. I guess let's, let's take the pocket. I tore the pocket off and sewed it on my, my vest. That one could actually make a bit more sense than the gun upgrades. I can get out through here. Yeah, sure. If I slip, I'm a goner. Alright, let's hug the wall. Let's see. Looks like I can only get in from there. Oh, it's a good thing that pterodactyl... See? It's a, there's a progression. The pterodactyl broke through the window, and now we can use the broken window to, to get down there. Let's go down. Whoop. Whoop. Huh? Ha! Phew. Made it. Maybe maybe she should have cast a uh, pre-vive. What was it called? 
Pre-raise. Maybe she should have cast that before she did that. <clears throat> Actually, Pre-Vive is a good name. Why didn't they call it that? To the left door to right I don't can I read any of this doesn't seem like it all right which door is the correct door I do like that the pterodactyl came from here because like we see the skeleton of one and there's a nest which implies that the pterodactyl thought this was its nest Just defending what it thought was its eggs. All right, we got Raptor and Scorpion teaming up, but I do have a lot, ow, a large space here, so that's good. Frequently, a lot of the challenge in these battles comes from having very little space to work with. I got poison. Guess I, I had to use a medicine before the fight ended. Oh, I guess we got a lot of medicines anyway. I guess it's fine. There's stairs going down there. There's a door there. It's locked. All right, can't go in there. So we got stairs. We got path up there. Uh, path down here? Doesn't look like it. Let's try path up there. Using oh, the gift shop. The gift shop is closed. No souvenirs for Aya. Christmas tree. You can, oh, there is actually a box in there. Um, let's replace medicine two with defense one. Okay, so Aya can indeed get something from the gift shop. 
It's something to increase her defense. Anything else in there? That's the one I already... I can, I can take that back. Or I can... Is, wait, is, this, is this a different one? Yeah. I think it's only two in there. Let's see if this is something different. No, okay. Same one. much of a direction in where I'm going. We're looking for uh, for the scientists, for Clamp. And fighting a lot of dinosaurs. But, uh, not entirely clear where we should be going. Oh, is that a graphical glitch of the emulator? It seems like the game's been displaying the game fine for now. A black square on that attack. Listen, uh, place. Listen, two. There we go. Maya, uh, no, Aya. Maya's the sister. I also said something about having to turn off the alarm so the elevator will work. That's kind of all we're going on at the moment. But I kind of feel directionless. Darkness. Okay, I was able to hit it anyway. Door up there. I could also go to the left. Security office. Let's see. Where's the alarm? Okay, did we find something? Did we, uh, that's a save point. You realize that there has not been a save point since we entered the museum. I've been aware of that. I don't know if you have. Here it is, and it's been activated. Deactivate or forget it. Well, we can deactivate it. The alarm's off now. Okay, I guess the elevators will work. Anything good on these screens? Hey, wait a minute. Eve. Oh, she's, uh... She's looking different. Where is she? That room. Where is that? You know, nothing else to comment on, Aya? That's Eve, and that's all you have to say about what you're seeing right there? I guess so. She's on the fourth floor. All right. This is Aya Bria calling in. 
I found Eve. She looks a little different than before. All right. I think this is a good time to take a break. Um, we completed the warehouse. Defeated the giant enemy crab. Upgraded some weapons and armor. We're in the museum. Um, I, I guess we're making progress in the museum. We've gone through a whole bunch of rooms, had a whole bunch of fights, gotten into a pretty good cycle of being able to uh, f do most of the fights without the armor using any medicine, then healing with magic afterwards, then regening the, the PE in the next fight. It's been going okay. Um, we've turned off the alarms, which I guess means we can now use the elevator, which I guess also means that we can get up to the fourth floor where Eve is and, uh, you know, have a little chat as to what's, what's going on, what's happening. Um, I guess we'll do that as we continue on with Pregnant Eve.